Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Leela. I am here with my first series of lectures on signal transistors and I have used Python for simulating the various problems of signal side systems. So this series of lectures has a dual scope. First one is if you are a student having signals and systems as your coursework, I have, I have tried my best to make the things more clear and concept more uh, understandable. You can understand, analyze and evaluate the various problems of signals and systems. And if you are interested in learning Python, any programming language is best to learn by applying it. So here I have used Python for simulating the various problems of signals and systems. You can go through that, run it on Python platform, observe the output, make any changes, again play with it, observe the output and see how the various functions and various uh, libraries work and uh, you will be able to create your own uh, Python code with more confidence after going through this course. So welcome to my first lecture. In this lecture, I am going to cover what is a system, what is a signal and what do you mean by dynamic behavior of a system and what are standard signals. So what is a signal and what is a system? To explain this, I have chosen an example of a regulated power supply. So this is the uh, block diagram of a regulated power supply. It consists of a transformer which steps down the voltage and then there is a rectifier which rectifies the input AC and then there is a smoothing circuit which removes the ripples in the input uh, DC and then there is a regulator circuit which gives a constant voltage at its output. So consider this transformer. This takes 230 volts RMS AC at 50 Hertz and gives it, it steps it step it down to 12 volts 50 Hertz. So this transformer uh, is a system which takes the input and gives out an output. Similarly, a rectifier. Uh, we can view it as a system which takes an input and gives out an output. And uh, all these four components cascaded, put together, the whole thing is a system. We can put it inside a box like this, which is a regulated power supply system, which takes input, 30, which is 230 volts AC, and gives an out, output voltage, which is 5 volts DC regulated power supply. So a system is an interconnection of various components or various devices and sometimes it may be various processes. A number of processes connected in uh, a certain fashion, maybe some of them are in series, some of them are in parallel or a combination of series parallel connections of various components or devices or processes forms a whole system. So a system takes an input and in response it gives an output. output so if you don't give an input, it will not have any output. So system, uh, in it responds to an input signal and gives an output signal. Okay. So, and the signal itself is the one which contains some information. So for example, here consider this transformer. So this has input as 230 volts AC supply. So this is a signal which is voltage signal and it contains information that it is of 230 volts RMS value and 50 Hertz. And when you apply this signal to the transformer, it gives an output which is 12 volts RMS AC at frequency 50 Hertz. So this is the output signal which contains information about its magnitude and frequency. So similarly, you can um, uh, uh, find out what is the input to each of these devices and what is the output. Suppose if this is a full wave rectifier taking 12 volts at its input RMS, it gives around 10 volts at its output. 10 volts uh, full wave rectified sine wave. So this contains ripples. To remove that we have a smoothing circuit here which may consist of uh, capacitors. And uh, output of this smoothing circuit is not a constant value. To make it a regulated output, we have a regulator uh, here which may consist of a zener diode or a, 
uh, in conjunction with transistor or it may also be an IC. So at the our overall output of this power uh, supply, regulated power supply system, so we will have 5 volts DC regulated output. So what is a system? A system is an interconnection of components or devices or processes and a signal is one, it is some physical variable which contains some information. The variable may be electrical quantity like voltage, current, charge or it may be any other uh, physical quantities like pressure, temperature, velocity, acceleration, etc. So we can think of a number of uh, examples surrounding us uh, like uh, a refrigeration plant, a power distribution system, it may be a power grid system, it may be a cell phone in your hand or a laptop or an automobile, power plants or industrial and domestic appliances, lighting, lightning arrester or insulator on the transmission line and you can innumerable uh, examples we can name and finally it is nothing but a system is nothing but interconnection of components or processes. So which can be viewed in the block diagram form as this. Next coming to what is meant by dynamic behavior of a system. So the behavior of system observed with respect to time is termed as dynamic behavior of the system. So the study of dynamic behavior of the system is uh, essential uh, in order to understand what is the nature of the output for any changes in the input signal. So how the output of the system uh, varies, how it uh, behaves when an input signal has some changes in its norm normal value. But uh, usually this input to any physical system we cannot mathematically easily represent it uh, since they will not be fully known in advance. So we characterize the input by certain signals called standard signals and the dynamic behavior is judged by observing the response of these response of the system to these standard signals. Okay. So what are the usual characteristics that are identified as uh, crucial at the input side so that the dynamic behavior of the system is required to be um, studied. So one is a constant. So the input may be a constant. The input may take the form of pressure, current, voltage, charge, temperature, uh, things like this. So it may be having a constant value or it may have an increase in its value. So the increase may be a linear increase or it may be an exponential increase or it may, it may be exponentially increasing with oscillations. The next oscillator, it may be oscillatory, taking both positive and negative magnitude sign or it may be a sudden change in the input signal. Change in the level of the input signal is termed as sudden change in the input or it may be a sudden shock. Sudden shock means a large change in the input signal occurring within a very short time duration is termed as the sudden shock. So all these characteristics are implemented by means of standard signals. And this table shows which are the characteristic and which is the standard signal which represents that characteristics. For example, an increase. An increase is represented by means of a ramp signal. And oscillations are represented by means of a sinusoidal signal. A sudden change is represented by means of a step signal. A step signal represents a change in the level of the input signal. A sudden shock, that is a large change in the input signal taking place but within a very short time that is represented by means of an impulse signal. So these are the standard signals which are used to study the dynamic behavior of the system whenever there is a change in the input signal of this nature. So that's all for today. Let, uh, see you in my next, next lecture.